Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can finish drawing in rows and columns that are in an incomplete array to help us to be able to find the area. So our learning goal says I can draw rows and columns to determine the area of a rectangle given an incomplete array. So it's almost like someone went in with our nice, perfectly drawn array and erased some parts. So we have to go in and fill those parts in so we can help figure out what the area is. So you'll need some materials. You'll need a ruler, a whiteboard, and you'll need your lesson six templates. And they look like these two. So you'll also find those in your math book. So make sure you grab those materials and click play when you're ready to get started. All right, friends, so the first thing that you'll need for the first part of our lesson is the lesson template one that looks like this, okay? It's also labeled template one up in the top corner. So make sure you grab that, and here we go. So how can you find the area of, or sorry, how can an array of square units help you find the area? Well, we know that we can count the total number, number of squares inside the rectangle. We can skip count the rows, and we can multiply the sides. So there's several different ways that we can find the area of square units. What do you notice about the ray inside this rectangle? What's wrong with it? Yeah, it's missing some of the parts. It looks like someone went in and took an eraser and was messing with us and erased some of the lines. Oh, goodness. <laughs> what do you notice about the top row? It's pretty close to being complete, right? But it's just missing that last line. Let's look at our second row. Can those square units help you to know how many square units make the top row? Yeah, because all of those are filled in, right? So because those are all filled in, I know that the top row has to be exactly the same. So I can just draw in that one extra line. Now that we know the top row, can we determine how many units will be in each row? Yeah, we sure can because we can look right here. So use the lines that are already there as guides to complete the array. Use your ruler to help make sure the lines are straight. Okay, so we can fill them in just like that. How many rows of six are in this array? Yeah, there's four rows of six. One, two, three, four. What equation can be used to find the area of the, this rectangle? Yeah, multiply those side lengths, friends, remember? So four times six equals 24. All right, so now we need this one. Lesson template two, grab that. All right, can we estimate to draw unit squares inside the rectangle? Yeah, we sure can. Let's start by finding the number of rows in our array. We have five in our row, or five rows. Draw what you need to find out, what you need to find the number of rows. So pause the video. Yes, yeah, so all we have to do is draw in those two spots right there, okay? How many rows are there now? Five. How can we find the number of columns? Yeah, we can just connect those lines, right? So use your ruler to complete the first row. Go ahead and pause the video, do that. All right, friends, so there's what I came up with. How many columns are in the array? Six. Use your ruler to complete the rest of the array. Remember, you can do that by finding one of the lines that you know, putting your ruler next to it, and then drawing in that line. Then you can do the opposite for vertical rows. Find one that you already know and line it up and go straight across, okay? All right. So go ahead and finish drawing in the rest of the array and then click play when you're ready for the next step.
right, friends. So here's what mine looks like. Does yours look the same? All right, awesome. All right, so label the side lengths and write an equation to find the area. So use your array, label the side lengths, and come up with a multiplication sentence to label to find the area. Click pause and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. Make sure you pause if you need more time. Okay, so side lengths are five centimeters because there's five tiles. The bottom is six centimeters because there are six tiles. And an equation to match that would be five centimeters times six centimeters equals 30 square centimeters. You gotta remember that square because we're finding the area as we're multiplying those two side lengths. Okay, all right, so great job with that, friends. All right, sweet. You guys did a great job drawing rows and columns in an incomplete array to find the area. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.